Ops, stop virtual camp, stop recording, check, ops, check. Mm-hmm. Simply hold a break. Okay. Uh, ops, video clip, simply hold a, simply hold a, clickable, clickable. Check, ops, not checking, there, there, at 2309, clickable. Simply visit link, clickable. Okay. Alright, guys, what's up? It's Peyton here. And today is tutorial two. In tutorial one, we covered how to modify aircraft sounds for freeware airplanes. Okay, now part two, we're going to be making a sim brief flight plan for the following planes. The PMDG 737, the PMDG 747, and the freeware aircraft. Why is this? Well, number one is to give you three different examples of how to make a flight plan. Part two is, um, for the tutorials of these aircraft, I'm going to use a specific flight. Okay, so, um, <coughs> this way you can see all the, um, you can see, uh, all the different types of planes in the tutorials. Now, I'm actually going to give you release dates for the uh, three tutorials. The freeware aircraft tutorial will be released on January 25th. Please do know it may be recorded at an earlier date, but it will be released on January 25th. The PMDG 737 tutorial will be released two days later on January 27th, 2024. The PMDG 747 tutorial will be released on January 31st. Now, if I do fly the seven, uh, the 777, that won't be out till May 15th because I want to make sure I have a lot of time with that plane. Because by that time, I'll have had a decent amount of time with the 747. But I need more time on that 777. So that's also depending on when I get it. But if it, if I don't have the plane by May 15th, that will expire. And I'll have to come up with a new release date for you. After I do all these, I will show you some VATSIM tutorial. A VATSIM, uh, how to fly a VATSIM and all that. And then I'll come up with more things down the line if we if they're needed. But let's okay. So first of all, I am in a brave shortcut for sim brief, and I really recommend you get one too if you're a big simmer like me because it really helps to have this on your um your desktop. It's really uh, nice. Also, the SimBrief downloader will not be shown in this tutorial, purely because I think it's kind of a nonsense app. I don't really like it. I don't like um, how it only downloads to one folder of the, like, the PMDG folders, and you gotta move all your flight plans. I, I don't like it. Therefore, it will not be shown in this tutorial. Also, for updated flight plans with up-to-date procedures, you will have to subscribe to Navigraph. Maybe I'll show you guys that. Okay. Um, maybe like when I get a new card or something, I'll show you when I sign up for it. But anyway, before we go through the process of making a flight plan, I'll say... SimBrief is basically where you get your flight plans. It's kind of like your uh, company's dispatch system, except for it's for all companies, okay? So, like, you know the flight planners at airlines? Um, this is basically it, okay? <coughs> now... Here's what I will say, if you're not using the uh, shortcut, go into your search bar, control L, type in SimBrief Integrated Dispatch System, okay? 
and you're going to sign in. It's very simple, or if you need to sign up, that's very simple. Just fill out the fields. It's really easy. Then once you're signed up and signed in, um, you can follow along with me. Um, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. All right. So let's first take a look at what we have on the home page, okay? So we're at the top. Now here's the commands I'm going to be using to navigate. K and Shift K will navigate between links. H and Shift H will navigate between headings. If I think of any more, um, oh yeah, sometimes you use buttons. Uh, so B and Shift B, but I don't really use that a whole lot. Okay, so links like on September twentieth, twenty twenty. Clickable. I'll navigate by headings. Okay, so here we go. Latest flight plan September 20th, 2023, UTC, level one. Okay, so you have your latest flight plan. South and 17, level two. Okay, now it's going to go through your most recent flight plan, so we really don't want to do that right now. Clickable. D okay. Sim brief, visited link. Sim brief, I don't, I, th I don't think that does anything. Dashboard visited link. Okay, dashboard. This is where we're at. We're, we're on our dashboard right now. Okay, so this is like your website home, okay? New flight visited link. You want new flight, but I, I want to show you something first. Or I want to show you the rest first. Edit flight visited link. Edit flight, so if you have past flights you've saved or whatever, you know, you can edit them. View flight plan visited link. View flight plan. I'm not going to click this, but it means, well, it's, uh, it's basically it's saying view your last flight plan generated. Okay. Save flights. Visit link. Saved flights. If you like doing routes a lot, you'll save them. Now, it doesn't actually sound that bad, but what I would do if uh, I were you saving routes is you update them every month. You know, if you got like ten flights you like to do a lot, just update the flight plans every month so that it's procedure current. Um, you don't want old flight plans. Save their visit link. And if you can't do the navigraph, it's no problem. Like, if you can't afford it or nothing, you know, it's it's no problem. Because these planes can operate well without it. Um, I don't know, it'll be a little interesting for you on Vatsim, though. So, saved airframes. Like, if you fly with the Airbus a lot, if you fly with the McDonnell Douglas, uh, you know, you like to fly them planes. Uh, if there's, like, one plane you fly a lot. Like for me, it's the 737 right now. Although I do like the Airbus A320. The 737 is what I fly a lot. So I could save that, but I'm not going to. Weather and Notum. Weather, that just shows your... Oh, weather and Notum. So weather is weather. Not um, Notums are notices to air missions. I I thought they were notices to airmen, but on the ATIS it says notice to air missions or something. It's weird. Um... So that could be like the runway's closed, the taxiway's closed, all that. User guide link. User guide. A lot of good stuff in there. I won't uh, dissect that. That's the that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. Account settings visited link. Okay, account settings. Um, feel free to look in there. There's really nothing crucial, I don't think. So feel free to pause this and look in there if you need to. Terms of service visited link. Terms of service, not really needed. Privacy policy link. Navigraph visited link. Okay. Navigraph, that's something you need, but we're not going to click on that today. Welcome, Payton visited link. Help and support link. Downloads link. So you can have help and support. Downloads, I don't know what you... Oh, duds, some brief downloader. Yeah, don't get that. Feature website link. System status link. Wait. Feature website link. Uh, I haven't looked past that, so fe featured websites, I don't know what that... Like, it's got to be websites they like, but... System status link. Change log link. Your link. New flight plan link. Edit flight link. Create new flight visit link. Use a flight visit link. Use a airframe visit link. Create new airframe link. Unlimited charts and data visit link. New subscription details visit link. New air settings visit link. Show more flights link heading level one. New link. PDF link. Edit link. New link. PDF okay, link. Okay, and then below here is the past, I believe it's five or six flights you've generated. So, we're going to go to the top. Clickable. Now, here's the thing. For... <coughs> for... One of these uh, tutorials I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do two flights. 
So we're going to create two flight plans. So in a total, we're going to create four flight plans, okay? Okay, so go back to the top, which what? is control, I believe it's home. I did it, but let's see. It was home. Okay, it's home. It's home. All right. Okay, so we're going to click on new flight. Oh, duh. There's one more command we're about to use, and it's called the letter E as an echo. And uh, shift E. This is for our edit fields for our flight plan, okay? So we're going to press E once. Z, 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 edit. Okay, Z, Z, Z. I'm going to click, Z, 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 edit. Click, open, click open or click enter on this edit box to get it to open. Also, if it's important, I'm using NVDA. So my airline is Stapleton Airlines. My call sign is S A L. Oh, here I should. Type characters on. L A S. S A L. Now, here's one thing: don't capitalize in the in these fields at all, because Simbrief already capitalizes everything. Okay. Zero 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 zero. That's all complete. Land. So zero zero zero. Our flight number will be one two five eight twelve fifty eight. Okay. Bravo. Oh. Equals eight at five two one cool. one two five eight. All right. Z Z Z Z. That's all complete. Land. Now, this is the flight with the freeware planes. Um, we'll do Tampa. That's KTPA. All right, and then we'll do K M C O. Uh, Orlando K M C O. So Tampa to Orlando. It's really short. Combo box collapsed. Okay, well, let's Now, let's see. What place shall we fly with this route? We could do the max. That'd be good. Yeah, let's do the max. Okay. Oh, whoa. Oh. Okay. So, alright. <laughs> good thing there's multiple examples. Okay, so, all we did was we pressed E to expand the airline box. I put in my airline call sign, then I tabbed to the next field instead of using E because otherwise it would have been in that field. So you're going to tab once after the airline. You're going to have your flight number. You'll tab again. You'll find your dis uh, the departure airport. You'll tab once more. You'll find the destination airport, you'll tab one more time, and you'll find the um, this combo box. Combo box and that's where your plane is. Now, you can use up and down arrows, or you can press B until you find, well, B, A, you know, whatever your plane's name is. So if you're looking for the Airbus A380, you're going to press A. If you're looking for the McDonnell Douglas DC-10, you know, you press M. For McDonnell Douglas, you know, the Lockheed 1011 TriStar, L. It's self-explanatory, okay? So now, go to the top, control home, and we're going to arrow down. Oh, I love you, Dad. What? Yeah. What's wrong? I love you. Oh, you are? Well, have a good time. <laughs> oh. Alright. Visit 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 Visit
So you'll up and down arrow until you see this. Generate flight. Clickable save, clickable generate flight. And you're gonna click enter. Generating flight plan dialog process in infinity state. Clickable cancel button, generating flight plan, button cancel. Combo box D30M, D7 sim brief, flight briefing. And just close out with X, uh, with the escape. Cause sometimes it'll go into the, I believe it's focus mode, um, when you click that. So, now we have a flight plan. <coughs> Now, here's the thing. I'm going to teach you guys what you need to pick from a freeware flight plan versus a payware flight plan, okay? Because there's a lot more you need in the payware, okay? So, Clickable. now we're using our heading key, uh, H and Shift H. Flight info, heading level one. Okay, so we have the flight info. Here it is. Flight number, heading level two. Call sign, heading level two. Now, if you want to look at any of the information, heading level two departure KTPA. Heading level two call sign Southwell fifty eight. You can go up and down. So I see my call sign is Staple fifty or Staple twelve fifty eight. So if I was going on Vatsim, I would jot that down. You know, call sign Staple or well, I'd write Sal S A L twenty uh twelve fifty eight. Departure heading level two. Arrival heading level two. Okay. Here's your departure and arrival. You should hopefully know those. Alternate heading level aircraft. Heading, heading level two. Oh. Aircraft. Alternate heading level two. Alternate. Um. In the freeware planes, it's a pain in the ass. Don't do it. But in the PMDG, it's nice to have your alternate. I guess. Heading level two aircraft. Heading level two alternate KMIA. So our alternate is Miami. Okay. Aircraft heading level two. Aircraft again. You should know. It is. Either, either. A 737 Max 8. Use it later. Oh, whoops. Hold Clickable. on. Flight So date. September 30th, 23. September 30th, 2023. Departure. 11 UTC. 11 10 UTC. Arrival heading level two. Twelve eleven UTC. Okay, you don't really need that. Just I'm just showing you this. Airtime heading level two. Zero thirty three. Airtime. I personally kind of jot that in my head just because I like to know the airtime. Um, like if I've got something big going on at five, will this fit into my schedule? Do I need to reschedule the flight for later? You know, it's all that. Flight time heading level two. One oh one. Well, this block time here is for taxi. That doesn't apply to us blind pilots. I, but I would say the block time is about... If you're including push, I'd say push is about five minutes. And then repositioning onto the runway takes a minute. So, um... About 42 minutes. Airframe heading level two. Flight plan summary heading level one. Okay, airframe we don't need to look at. Altitude heading level two. Okay, this is where we need to start jotting stuff down. Um, if we were in the PODG, but we're not. And uh, I'm only telling you the stuff you need for the freeware. Now, why you don't need your altitude for the freeware planes is because FS Tramp already has it from your flight plan. Heading level two, cruise high heading level two, altitude 13,000 FT. Okay, so we're only going up to 13,000 feet. Um, that seems pretty standard um, for our flight. Cruise heading level 2. Distance heading level, heading level, heading level 2, distance 120 nm. Not something you need to write down, but yeah. Also, if we look at this. Cruise heading level 2. Uh, altitude heading level 2. Cruise heading level 2. Your, crew, your cost index is right after your altitude. You don't need this for the freeware planes. Heading level two, distance 100, heading level two, cruise high 54. Okay, so cost index is 54. Distance heading level, wind heading level two, wind comp, ISA, release, air, heading level heading level two. If you're wondering why I'm skipping past a bunch of crap, that's because it's a bunch of crap that we don't need to look at. Units heading, navlock, head heading, low, cheap, burn, that's an easy, SOPL, the block fuel heading level two. Next thing we need is our block fuel. This we do need for all types. 9,224 LPS, heading level two, block fuel, 9,224 LPS. 9,224 pounds.
So, yeah. Now, if you're flying the Max, I really don't recommend taking all that fuel. I'd say around 8,000 you'd be fine. Now, here's a beautiful thing. You might be wondering, well, what about reserves? What about reserves? Well, the thing is, you really don't need them, especially with the Max. If anything, your fuel has built-in reserve. And that's my next point. Your fuel, as a blind pilot, has built-in reserve. Because us blind pilots, we don't taxi. Now, if you're just new to the uh, simming community, you may not know that yet. But, yeah, you don't taxi, so you really don't need this block fuel. Now, for sighted people, um, yeah, they probably knew, do need some reserves and all that. Um, just because they have to taxi. Now, or, or wait, does this include taxi fuel? Duh, I think it does. Peyton. Okay, never mind. Um, but hey, for blind for blind pilots, we already have automatic reserve, so yeah. Or duh, yeah, that's what it's for, because yeah. Cargo heading level two. Six thousand six hundred LPS. Okay, six thousand six hundred pounds. Payload heading level two. I don't use this payload. Neither should you, because what I'd like to do is for the freeware planes, you're going to take your number of passengers, okay? You're going to times the number by 200. And I say the number of passengers you have, because Simbrief will say have this many passengers, but GSX, if you're using GSX to board your passengers... <coughs> it'll have you full. It'll have your plane full. Okay? So, when the plane's full, uh, what you'll do is you'll, uh, let's say it's the 737 max. My max holds 180 people, so what I'd do is I'd ask my phone, and I'd say, Okay, what is 180 times 200? Okay, get that answer. I put that... Um, now what I do with that is I go into the fuel and payload and I divvy up the weight. So, yeah, but what you can do is uh, 180 times 200, 180 times 40. Okay, 180 times 40 is your baggage. Now... If you're dividing up certain areas, you could say, okay, like, first class, there's only 10 people. What is 10 times 200? And you put that in there. Okay, what is 50 times 200? That's for business. And then what's for, what's 120 times 200? Okay, and then you put that in economy. Okay, see what I mean? You just diffy up the weight. Well, you could also... Do 180 times 200 and maybe just put it in zone A. Just put all that weight there. But I would divide it amongst the plane. That's what I do. Okay. So now we're to the good stuff. Alright. So what you need to write down here is... One left. That's the runway you'll need to take off from. Copy. I would KMCO slash 35R. And the runway you're going to land at. So, one left and 35 right. Okay? Now, <clears throat> why am I not telling you to write down set or star? You're going to see the beautiful thing about this. Because, when you download the flight plan, which I'm going to show you how to do in just a moment, you're going to see that when you... You fly, press the fly plan M1 button in FS Tramp. It already has all the waypoints for you. You don't need to add a sit or a star <clears throat> um, on the <coughs> on the flight plan. You don't need to add sits or stars. Okay, so. Yeah, you just click the fly plan M1 button and then you're good. Now for payware, we're going to talk about that in 
a little bit. But for now, control end. Okay, that'll get you to the Navigraph charts. Okay. I'm using Shift K. I'll show you this really quick. So, you hear all those pre-file, pre-file, pre-file. You can pre-file with VATSIM, Pilot Edge, um, AVO, and I think there's one more. Poskin, I've never heard of that before, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, now you're going to go down long list, pressing shift K. Okay, occasionally you're going to want to use up and down just to see where you're at. You're going to want... FSX slash P3D. Forget using MSFS, that's trash. You want P3D. P3D is a lot better. FSX slash P3D. Okay, so you see FSX slash P3D? You don't want. FSX slash P3D. No SIDS slash star. You do not want that one. That one comes without the SIDS and stars. You do not want that. You want. FSX slash P3D. You want this one that says FSX slash P3D. That's that's the one you want. Link download. Link We're gonna click download. Untitled brave. Save a dialog. Save a toolbox. Save a toolbox. Save a simple flight briefing brave. Okay, so. Download dialog. Type FSX thirty seven. There we go. It's downloaded. Simple flight briefing brave. Simple flight briefing document. Link download. We have the flight plan downloaded and ready to be placed somewhere. <clears throat> I'll show you how to do all that after we do the rest of the flight plans. Okay? So, we're going to click New Flight again. Now, the reason why I'm doing two flights for the PMDG 737 is, I'm going to do one flight where I show you how to do the flows yourself, and one flight where I show you what uh, you do with FSFO Pro. Okay? So, this first end of field, you uh, press E to find it. We're going to press, or we're going to type in S A L. That's our airline. Now, next field is our flight number, so we'll have. One, two, five, seven. Okay. Z -Z 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 now, for our departure. K A T W. Okay. That's our departure. That's Appleton. Okay. Z -Z 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 this is our destination. K M K E. Okay, there it is, Milwaukee. Combo box collapsed. This is our aircraft selection box. Expanded list number one one two hundred twenty five B one B B B B B B seven hundred. I'm pressing B to find the seven thirty seven. B seven hundred twenty one B B B B B B B B B seven hundred thirty eight B B B B J two B seven hundred thirty seven B B J two B seven hundred thirty eight B seven hundred thirty seven dash eight hundred forty nine one hundred sixty two. Combo box B seven hundred. Okay, so I click on that and I press escape to kind of close that box, so to speak. Now we're going to go to the top control. Home. Finding generate flight. Generating flight plan. Dialog processing infinity state. Clickable cancel button. Generating flight plan. Button cancel. And I clicked it. Combo box D730. Simply flight briefing document plan. Okay. Now this flight is generated. But before I download it, I'm going to show you the difference. So. Heading level two. Departure heading level two. Clickable. Flight info. Flight number. Call sign. Heading level. Heading level. Heading level two. Call sign. Sound level fifty-seven. Okay, so your call sign. You're gonna want to do that. You're gonna want that. Departure heading level two. Arrival heading alternate aircraft. Heading departure arrival at airtime heading level two. Um, we've already looked at all the uh, you know, departure and arrival and all that. So. Zero twenty-eight. Heading level two airtime. Zero twenty-eight. Airtime is twenty-eight minutes. Not bad. Flight time heading level zero fifty-six. <clears throat> 56 minutes, obviously that's including taxi, so we can do our own six minutes of uh, time that we'll need for pushback and repositioning. Repositioning takes a minute, pushback takes about five. So about 34 minutes, okay? Airframe heading level two. Flight plan, summer altitude heading level two. Okay, so this is where you're going to want to start right now some stuff so if you've watched my videos with the briefings I've been doing 
and still to come. You'll see I write down, uh, for you guys I write down the, um, you know, the two airport codes. I write down the aircraft, and then the next thing I write down is the altitude, which is... Heading level 2, heading level 2, altitude 11,000 feet. 11,000 feet, okay. Cruise heading level 2. Then, right next to that... Heading level 2, distance 9, heading level 2, cruise high 39. Is 39, so... You do need the cost index for the CDU. That's in order for the perfect page to execute. So r make sure to write down the cost index. Distance heading level two. Heading level, heading level two. Distance ninety nine m. The distance, which is ninety nine miles, I like to keep uh, keep that in my head just so I know. Wind heading level two. Wind compass eight. Release heading right. OFT units at nine. Slow speed. Run heading level two. Passenger heading easy. Up heading level two. Heading level two. Heading level two. All right. So the next thing is block fuel. Eight thousand eight hundred forty-seven LPS. <laughs> Heading level eight thousand eight hundred forty-seven LPS. Okay. So you need that. So write that down, or whatever. Cargo at level two. Six thousand two hundred fifteen LPS. Cargo. Don't write that down. Jot that in your mind for what's about to come next. Payload at level two. Payload. Okay. Now, this is where. We differ between freeware and payware in uh, fuel and payload, or uh, payload, I mean. So what you'll do is, this is something that I do. I don't use Simbrief's uh, payload. What I do is, I'll take the, so for this plane, it's a 737-800. I will take the number of passengers times 200, which is 42,800. I know this from uh, from flying in all this. So the eight, the 800 has 214 passengers, so that's 42,800 plus 8,560. That's the baggage, plus 6,215. So I'm going to do that for you. Right now, we'll get our payload. Hey, Siri, what is 42,800 plus 8,560 plus 6,215? 42,800 plus 8,560 plus 6,215 is 57,575. Okay, so we got fifty-seven, or yeah, fifty-seven thousand five seventy-five. Now, what the way you have to enter in the CDU is uh one fifty-seven point six. Now, the reason why it's not point five is anything above point four, I round up to the next number. So one fifty-seven point six would be what I put in the CDU. So that's a little calculation you gotta do, but it's it's not that hard. Okay, so on to the next thing. Alright, so now there's a, a few things you gotta know. You gotta know your airport and your two airports, your departure and arrival. Hopefully you would. You need to know your runways and your SID star and transitions. Okay? So let's look at ours. This is where I realize it's probably a bad example to use Appleton, okay? So so normally, on a longer flight, like from Tampa to O'Hare, you would have a SID. That's a standard instrument departure. Okay? And you have your transition. So, what the SID is, is it's basically a branch that's taking you out of the airport, and then the Transition is basically the tree's leaf that you're using to kind of take the exit out of the airport. 
and then your star. Now, yeah, there's not really star for Milwaukee either. Um, you would have the star and the transition. So the transition is the leaf taking you in. Then the star is the tree branches taking you all the way to the runway. Okay. So, there you go. Um, now, when we do the 747 flights, or the flight for it, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so now we're going to go control um, end. Clickable navigraph starts. Clickable navigraph results. Using shift K. 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 Save style, save tool, save button, save button, flight briefing, brick and Clickable. Now, the next flight plan I'm just going to kind of go through really quickly. I'm not actually going to go through what's in there. I'm just going to uh, show you again how you do it. So, Land. top of the page, control home. Land. Send me a visit, attach more visit, link. Um, new flight visit, link. And we're going to click new flight. Clickable. I'm going to press E Z -Z -Z as an echo. Z -Z 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 to open or uh, to find the edit box, and then I'm gonna press open. So, airline. S A L zero 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 zero. Auto complete land. One two five five. Z Z Z Z. Auto complete land. K M K E. Z Z Z Z. Auto complete land. K A T W. Combo box not collapsed. Okay, so. Z Z Z Z Z. Z. Selected K M K E. Zero 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 zero. Selected twelve fifty five. Where it says twelve fifty five in that box, that is my flight number. Z Z Z Z. Selected K M K E. That that's my dest uh, that's my departure airport. Z Z Z Z select the K A T W. That's my destination airport. Combo box not collapsed. This is where I will select Six. my plane. A two hundred B B B B four B B four B B B seven B B seven B B B seven B B seven B B B seven hundred thirty six B seven hundred B seven B seven hundred thirty eight B B J two B thirty nine B seven B seven hundred thirty nine B seven hundred combo box B seven hundred thirty. I press enter on the aircraft I want. Clickable. Escape to make that sound. Now we're going to visit, down arrow. Visit, 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 Okay, so now we have one more flight plan to make. Clickable. New flight. So I press E to find my airline field. I'm going to press enter to open the box. Okay, that's my airline call sign. I'm going to tab. Type in my flight number. I'm going to type in my departure airfield, which will be... KTPA Tampa KTPA Z Z Z Z Z Auto Complete Land K A R R T A K Okay, now I'm gonna tab and K A T L Type in my destination airfield. Combo box not collapsed. Expanded. Lift B B B B B. I tabbed and then I expanded this combo box by pressing Alt down arrow. And I'm now in the list of aircraft, so I'm gonna press B. B now keep in mind you can use your up and downs arrows. Now I don't know which one to. All right, so I found that I collapsed the combo box by pressing escape. I'm down arrowing to find generate flight. Visit, 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 vis
You click enter. Generating flight plan dialog processing infinity safe. Clickable cancel button. Generating flight plan button cancel. Combo box P seven hundred four simply flight briefing document. Okay, close that. Clickable. Flight info flight number five. Departure arrival. 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 Okay, so this is what a SID looks like. This is ended one. You can see it's the name of waypoint, and then a number is, and then sometimes there's a couple letters after. Layson. Layson is in the trans is the transition. DCT Emery Q100 DAWWN DCT Beard DNDLF2 KATL slash zero L DNDLF2 Beard. Okay, now DCT Beard. E-O-R-N, space, D-C-T, Beerum. Beerum, that is our transition. T-I-D-L-F-2. And then that's our star. K-A-T-L slash zero L. Then we'll land on Atlanta's eight left, all right? Now we're going to go control N. Clickable navigraph charts. Clickable opens. Zoom, 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 Okay. Glorious. We have all of our flight plans, but we need to put them somewhere. We can't just keep them in our downloads folder. We we can't do that. We can't fly our planes that way. So I'm gonna this PC. press uh the command for this PC which is Windows I. Status bar up preview level one is PC XD D D documents pin not check five eleven level C type characters off drop box levels level dumbbells documents pin drop levels level dumbbells pin tab two of the folders tab uh select the folder which is downloads and then tab do list today and with a bunch of flight plans right here, ready to download. Today, back left, today, folder view, FS Cram for MSFS 1115, dumb right. one of two, dumb, back to today, who can expand, back to left, Now we're, we're gonna, uh, uh, we're gonna move the freeware flight plan first. Back to FSX 30, back to FSX, back to FSX, yesterday, who can expand, today, who can expand, back to FSX 30, September 23rd, PLN 427. Okay, now, the, uh, this is the way your flight plans are gonna sound, and here's how your flight plans are titled. So, K I T T A K M T O line F S X line three zero S E P two three dot P L N land land. That's how they are. Um, the two airport codes and then the date and all that. The date will be extended. Back to FSX thirty September. Okay, so we have our flight plan for the free work planes. Okay, we're gonna press Control C. Copy. Copy. Folder view FSD TTS flight simulator for fantasy foot FSD 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 FSD
Okay, we're copying it, and then we're going to paste it. So, we copied the flight plan with control c open P3D with Shift-F10, and then found uh, PMDG, enter, flight plans, enter, 747, in this case, enter, but if it was a flight plan for the uh, NGXU, we would have pressed enter on that. And then we press control V as a vector to paste the flight plan. This folder for store, back left this folder for store, back left extra, corner, back left extra, September 20, back at K, back E, E, K, A, T, L, line, back left extra. Okay. So as you can see, the flight plan's here. So we're going to close this. Double, side of view list, today proofing expanded, back left extra, September 23rd, TLM 120, today proofing, back left extra, September 23rd. Alright, so now we just have our two flight planes left. So we're going to press P for P3D. Well, pre part 3D, shift F10. Open file location, I Open file location, we'll press enter. And then we'll press P as in Papa. Oh, we'll press enter, F as in Foxtrot. Flight list 414. Item view list 747. Press enter, and then... NG202. We have the NGXU. We're going to press enter on this. Item view list. .rte not selected. Fever. Item not found. Copy and one item from... And then we'll press control V. C. Backslash program. Name split button. Collapse sorted. Ascending. Oh, ugh. Navigation button. Toolbar. Preview. Level 2. Local disk. C. Collapse 1. Item name. Sat. Nat. Forward. Reason. Up. Nat. Address. Sir. Item view list. NG202. 747. NG202. Item view list. .rte not selected. Fever. Item not found. Copy and... C. Item view. Download. Two or three. Alright, so that flight plan's in there, I press control C, took it into the folder, control V, pasted it. Press control C again on this one. Find the folder. Destination folder access denied. Pause the operation checkbox available, not checked randomly. Control V. C. Can we have a sex? 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 Can we have a Stop virtual camera check, check. And that's it. it. That's how you uh, download flight plans from SimBrief. Or, well, that's how you make flight plans on SimBrief. And download them on SimBrief. Now, let me show you one more thing, actually. Folder view. Doc 17 of 26. If you go into here, this untitled is... Brave, untitled Brave. Recent documents list. This is something I like to do instead of Notepad. I find it more efficient. Video ideas, Google, food menu, Google, flight details, Google, row menu, flight details, Google, docs open, last open, 96, 06 a.m. Okay. Flight details, application, flight details, Google Docs document, application, land, cap to KPHX. So you can see here flight, uh, flight details. Um, now this is where I write everything. So I'll memorize the things of the flight plan and then I'll, uh, I'll put them, I'll put everything in this document. So, cap to KPHX. This is one flight. It's, uh, Albuquerque to Phoenix. I haven't done it yet, but maybe I have by the time you see this. Altitude 32,000 feet. So there's the altitude. Aircraft, Boeing 737-900, cost index 20, descent 95 miles, fuel 13, descent 95 miles. Now, I like to, in case the computer doesn't come up with a good descent, I like to make my own before before I do the flight. Fuel 13,000 pounds, payload 160.6, Albuquerque, it's still in there, RDR, zone. Okay, so you see Albuquerque 8, that's the wrong way, RDR N3, that's the SID, and then zone's the transition. Phoenix, 86. 8, Eagle 6, and then Zun for uh, Phoenix. Well, actually, no, that's just for Albuquerque, but Phoenix has it on its thing, too. It's interesting. Now, KPHX Altitude, 34,000 feet. Aircraft, cost index, descent 100 miles. On one of my... Las Vegas, 20, Munich, fuel, fuel, descent, cost index, call sign, South 14, 29. On one of my more recent flights, and I, I'm doing this from now on, is I have my call sign. So if I forget what the call sign is when I'm logging into VATSIM, I got it right here on the on the uh, briefing uh, thing. I call this flight details, but maybe I should call it briefings or something. Um, 
Hello, but I'm trying to become more advanced with my um, breathing, so later on you might see me putting down air time, distance, you know, just some more information for you guys, but we'll see down the road. Anyway, again, that is how you make fly plants, and that is where you put them. So again, the freeware plans go in FS Tramp. And then the payware flight plans that uh, you saw me do for the PMDG, those go in the uh, P3D, PMDG flight plans, and then whatever aircraft you're flying. Okay? <coughs> I thank you very much for watching this video, and my most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, I hope that everyone who watches this video is blessed, that you give them blessing and blessings more abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright guys, thank you for watching. And peace.